So this is a CS150 Lab Activity 3 uh, Format Strength Vulnerability by Antonio Lemency. So first off, uh, what is a Format Strength Vulnerability? Basically, this is a vulnerability, uh, and it was entitled actually that vulnerability because Format String uh, is used in printf uh, family of library functions in the standard C library. And as you can see in this image over here, uh, these are format specifiers, which basically specify what kind of format the variables are. And you know, format string is one of the first or the first arguments in a printf style function with remaining variable arguments comprising the arguments to be printed. And this is a format of the stack layout of a format string. And normally in a printf style function, the printf takes a number variable of arguments. It doesn't pay attention to where the stack frame ends and it presumes that you called it with at least as many arguments as you specified in the format string. And now, however, the problem is if you don't use a, you know, in your code, if you don't use a format specifier, uh, right, there's a possibility that the program, your program can become vulnerable to the format string vulnerability because, uh, you know, these form, uh, when, when, when these format specifiers are interpreted, there's a possibility that the attacker could gain gain control and utilize this because you know in this uh, you know if you're gonna compare the print the print f stack frame from the color stack frame right in a norm in a normal uh, non faulty code they're mapped pr properly the percent d the spe uh, format specifier the variable to the pointers right and you know in a faulty code that's not gonna be that's not that's not a case right in a faulty code what happens is most likely uh, is going to go to the color stack frame and this is where the format string vulnerability can occur okay so first task was the vulnerable program server.c over here and uh, we ran we ran a uh, ran the server in, a, in our VM so we, there's two two terminals because one is a server and one is the client. When we ran it, uh, we were able to get the IPv4 address of the server via if config 10.0.215. And as you can see, we were successful as when we type a message on the client side, it shows up in the server side. So now task two, understanding the layout of the stack. And now in here, so as you can see, the memory address of the reference to the format string is 0x b quadra f 0fc over here. So using GDB. And same thing, memory address of the return address of the myprintf function is 0x b quadra f 11c as seen here. Now for 2c, memory address of the buffer is 0x b quadra f 170 GDB again. Now for 2D, so we use the results of 1A and 1C, so which was 0x74 or 116 in decimal. Now for task three, we we're tasked with crashing the program. And so that what we did, so we ran the client server. We basically inputted a lot of format specifiers. I think there was 10, 10% SS, and we were able to successfully crash the program. So now format, uh, specifier of percent %s, so we, we were able to trigger an invalid pointer access and the more we used, we had a higher chance of reading from an invalid or unmapped address, right? Because what happens is, you know, some kind of buffer overflow happens. It's not, a, it's not a buffer overflow per se, but basically when we provide a bogus amount of format string specifiers, it makes the program overflow the buffer, right? Okay. Uh, excuse the last slide, it was an error. So now for task four, print out the server program's memory. And now for stack data, so the amount of format specifiers that we used to get the server program to print out the first four bytes of the input is 28. And the hex format of this four bytes, triple A, uh, qu sorry, quadra A is 41, 41, 41, 41. And we used the format specifier percent %x to reference a pointer displaying the value pointed by the stack pointer. And for this one, heap data, content of the secret message is quotation mark, a secret message, quotation mark. And we got this because we know the address of 0x 
eight sorry zero x zero eight zero four eight seven c zero over here and you know uh, we put this address in the first four bytes with percent s as a twenty eighth format specifier to get the values pointed by the stack pointer now for task five we were uh, you know and tasked with changing the server program's memory so we change the value to a different value this is the server side so we use a similar approach in like in 4a right so what we did was we <clears throat> excuse me gave the first four bytes of the format string and we followed this with 28 specifiers with the 28 specifier uh, being the percent percent n format specifier in order to output the number of bytes and the output located in the memory and pointed by the stack pointer so percent n was passed as a reference so this would produce the value in the target address which, which is 0xdc equivalent to 220 in decimal so this is the client view <clears throat> now for 5b we're tasked with changing the value of the target variable using percent n format specifier to ox500 and we got 1 to 18 decimal divided 27 specifiers right where 26 is the remaining of number of specifiers 8 is the size of each specifier in bytes and 4 is the size of the target address okay so this is for the client now for 5c so we have to change the value to 0x ff 99 quadro quadro 0 so it's a it's a it's a large number so we divide into two blocks half it and corresponding to two upper and two lower bytes respectively and so on upper two bytes computation we got 65 to 65 213 and for lower bytes computation 103 so there's the client and for the server so for task 6 we injected malicious code into the server program right we use NOP the beginning of shell code act as sort of a window get the right address program executes and lands NOP instead with goods the program continues to execute until reaches the shell code since the NOPs don't do anything so terminal view and now the target address is the address containing the you know return address of printf function 0x804 8580 sorry 85a3 excuse me All right and you know address where we got is stored in 0xb quadra f 11c while the original return address is 0x808 Four seven two three. Goal is to replace return address of the my printf function with a shellcode address injected in the stack, and so over that. So shellcode address must also be obtained, and input address was zero x b quadra f one seventy to get shellcode. Add one three eight bytes to get zero x b quadra f one fa. Reason is you know the input strings first hundred thirty eight bytes is the format string. So we have to redo, replace 0xb quadra f 11c with 0xb quadra f 11a. Sorry. And the format string oh, was the same method in task 5c. So computation for upper two bytes, 0xb quadra f desired value 49151. You know, computation for lower two bytes, desired value 61946. Remaining value 18141. So for task 7, we were unfortunately unsuccessful in getting a reverse shell. However, in task 8, fixing the problem, so we were able to fix this by, you know, uh, just basically fixing this warning, right? So we just added a literal string, percent %s. And that's just it. Time to crash the program again. Doesn't work anymore. Thank you.